Good evening, everyone. My name's Etaskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. One more day. One more day, and it's Halloween, 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 Halloween. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> if you've just now joined me in this channel, and this is your first time ever watching me, I'm usually not really excitable, except for, like, holidays and special events and stuff like that. So, I'm super excited. Um, real quick reminder, um, when I record on Halloween, it doesn't release until the day after Halloween. So, the video that you're watching on Halloween is not going to be the um, environment that is is happening during Halloween. So on October 31st, the um, on Wednesday, all day, you like that's the only day you get. All right, you need to go get your rookie X <clears throat> in times X because the rookie X event, like the, the quest, is actually for the end times X. So instead of getting this, you're gonna get this, even though they'll look the same. This is actually the um, purple pumpkin, uh, the the dark pumpkin, the the texture right here. See the purple. That's the same texture as the dark pumpkin, but it looks amazing. In times X. Okay, anyhow, um, what was I doing? I was going to build tonight because I needed to make a, a quick video of doing something, and I thought, why not build code? It would be brilliant. Um, before we do, let's head up here and take a look around. I'm looking for spook wood. If I see spook wood, this episode just changed, and we are no longer doing builds. We are going to. Oh gosh, I almost fell down. Okay, um, let's keep going. Go, 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 go. Uh, building go bridge or palm again. Uh, palm, but I'm looking for spook first. Do, 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 do. Sometimes it likes to spawn right over there, like in between the two little areas. That's always a good spot for it. Ooh. Okay. Let's take a peek. Ooh, somebody left some lava wood right there. Don't see any spook wood on top of the areas. <clears throat> By the way, thank you for everyone that's been tweeting to me about your spook wood that you've been finding. Awesome, excellent. I'm I will tweet and retweet um, the like if you send me a picture of it uh, and you tag me at Code Primate inside Twitter, I will um, retweet it out so it gets more publicity. Because I believe finding the, the spook wood is like one of the best events in history. No, in uh, in lumber. Oh gosh, it's getting it's getting foggier and foggier. Foggier by the second. I I did find a little trick. So see how the fog you can't really see it over there. If you turn your camera at an angle, you can see further. And that just has to do with the fog edging. The way that the fog works. I'm not seeing any spook wood. I'm, I'm using this line right. Oh, oh, right over here is where I'm looking, just to see if I can see spook wood. And I'm not seeing it. It's about to get dark, so. Hmm. I don't see any. I don't see any. When you were building the gold bridge, I always fell down those ladders. Me too. <laughs> Don't worry. I fell down plenty of times trying to build that thing up all the time. By the way, by by the way, by the where, <laughs> by the way, shout out to a uh, nightmare hacked me. See spook trees? I don't. Uh, do you? We're gonna have to come back up during the daytime. Maybe a morning morning cycle. Whee! Boom. Oh, my nose just got all itchy. Okay. So I've already got a whole bunch of stuff that was built by the uh, the fans that helped me out last time. Thank you guys so much, by the way. Uh, so I'm just going to take and stick these up here the best I can. These are going to get harder and harder to move just because the distance is further and further away. So. But uh, one of the tricks to building... Oops building up high like this is to use platforms as targets. Now because I'm building a bunch of doors at one time, I thought, oh, maybe it should be best to like build the doors first, like the one row of doors, and then that way I could tell how far I've got to go on the rest of them. Because when I can't see the end goal, my ADHD goes crazy and it's like, I don't want to do this. So what I need is 
I need a um, a set goal, an endpoint. With my ADHD, that's that's what I'm going to need. And the faster I get that endpoint in view, the faster I should be able to build or stay concentrated on building. Um, I don't know if that happens to you. Um, and it's also true for people that don't have ADHD, but for some reason, having an end goal in mind always helps no matter what. Begin a project with the end in sight. A lot of times, uh, programmers, developers, they'll start in on a project, or um, new, new developers, they'll start in on a project with a great idea. It's just a, in general, wonderful idea. I do it all the time. I'm like, I write it down, write the idea down, but I don't have a, an end point, a, like where we're trying to get to. I just think big project, and then I get all excited, and I make a whole bunch of sticky notes, and, and yeah, that's where it usually dies off. Um, so, and if you're a developer out there, if your parents are a developer, Ask them the same thing, like, what makes a good project? And there's always planning. Planning, plan, 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 plan. I gotta plan everything. Just like this bridge. I had, oh gosh, I didn't plan it. Um, but I do have an end goal in sight. And I know the technique to do it, so. It's basically just copying and pasting that technique over and over and over again until the final result is what I want. Um, you can also do this in school, by the way. Like, schoolwork for the day if you have to write out definitions. Ugh. One of my worst classes. Like, I love science, alright? But one of my worst classes was biology and term words. Or uh, definitions. Defining words. Literally, the teacher would have us, like go through the book and we would write out the word and the definition of that word. I I couldn't stand definitions. Um, formulas. Okay, in, in math class, like um, algebra, pre-calc, stuff like that, I could do that all day long. Because I, I like that you could not know the answer, but have a formula memorized as a way to get the answer. And that's, that's like one of my biggest things. Not knowing the answer, but knowing where to go to get the answer. I think they should teach that in school. Like nowadays, everybody just Googles everything. Even even I Google stuff. Um, like whenever I'm lost on a project, okay. Uh, let's say somebody calls in and they've got like a really bad problem with their computer or something that has happened I always ask well, what's the message say because you can take that message type it into Google and Google's like oh 200 billion other people had that same problem. Here's how they fixed it That or you find a forum where it's like somebody posts the question and then like 200 people below are like I have the same problem I have the same problem. I have those you kind of have to sort through and then you find that one person that's like well, what I did is I opened up command line, and then I did the, the registry edit, and I did the delete of this key. And then you're like, wait a second. <gasps> and then you try it, and then it messes up your system 32. <coughs> I mean, uh, it fixes the problem. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. It's a little IT joke. Ugh. And if you guys didn't realize it yet, I am a great big nerd. Like... I don't know. What's the difference between a nerd and a geek? I, I guess I'd be a geek, wouldn't I? Because, like, um... Okay, yeah, I would be a geek. A geek would be, um, somebody who would be more into technology and tech stuff. Whereas a nerd... No, that really doesn't... I guess they kind of go hand in hand, don't they? If you ask me which one I preferred, Star Wars or Star Trek, I would tell you both. I like them both. Um, when it came to series-wise, I didn't really watch Star Trek all that much, like the original series and stuff. But, um, if you ask me Dungeons and Dragons or Magic the Gathering, I would be like both. I like both. And then if you were to ask me Pokemon, not really. I mean, it was fun for a little bit, but I never got into it. 
I think the uh, the theme song probably was one of the best. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, what was I doing? I need to switch axes because I'm used to my in times axe being on number one. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm, can I work for you? I just joined a random server. Do I need wood? Uh, n no, for the most part, it's all gonna be palm. Uh, whoa, the ice has details. I mean, for the most part, I've got everything I need. Um, we did a that palm wood run and stuff like that. So, uh, no, it's fine. No, just hang out. No, nah, just hang out. You, oh, you are on video. Smiley face. Oh my gosh, that was like some mega lag. Did you guys see that? Okay, that's cut. Uh, so, boom, 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 oops, boom, oh, boom, and boom. You found Spook? In here? Some kid. Did you really? I think I might be getting trolled. Oh gosh. Oh wow, hello! That's full of a bunch of palm wood. <laughs> nice! Who dropped this off last time? Oh my gosh. Look behind your base. Okay. Where? No way! Wow! Don't chop. No one chop. Let it, I say let it grow. Yes, everyone agree? This tree belongs, belongs to some kid Flash. <laughs> Epic willpower says okay. I am recording right now. So, if someone else cuts it, then you shall be forever labeled a poo. Oh my goodness. Okay, gotta get a screenshot of that. Look, dude. That means I was right there. And did I not see this? I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video because, I mean, I literally, it's right there. It is right there. How f did it just grow like that fast? Could have sworn I was looking all over the place. Go, go back in the video right now. Just go back and tell me if you saw this. And then, like, watch the whole thing back up to this point. I'm just kidding. You don't have to do that. <laughs> screenshot. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta get a screenshot with this kid. All right, buddy. All together. Jeez. There we go. Print screen. Got it. Got it. <laughs> it's a pretty tree. Good find. Pretty tree. Now he did. Did you hit it? Oh, you did. You already hit it, didn't you? That's okay. It will start growing again. It just takes some time. So. Yes! Major win for the video. Hashtag like and comment down below. Subscribe for more likes and awesome videos and comments and stuff like that and whatever I'm supposed to, you know, hype up. <laughs> Ooh, <good. laughs> 
How rare is this? Um, one in 100, I think. It's pretty rare. <clears throat> I mean, during the month of October, the, these things are like all over the place. And this is a spook tree because it doesn't have that glow to it. The spook tree itself, or the, the sinister tree has a, a weird glow. Now what would amaze me is if there's another one somewhere. <gasps> Let's go look. Are you live or nah, no? No, not live, but I am recording. And it will be out tomorrow. Smiley face. Some kid flash. You just got super famous, dude. Everybody go and like message him. Be like, congratulations on your spook tree. <laughs> you just got famous. I watch all your vids. Thank you. Have you ever been in a video with me before? Question mark? Quack, quack. Quack. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Can you sign my base? Of course. Yes. Uh, can you wait till after bid? Uh, we still have like 15 minutes left, so. Sure. Woo! Okay. Cool. About 15 minutes. Again, that tree is his. Like auto walking right into my stuff here. Okay, hold on. Coffee time. What is a good way to make money? Um, lava trees. It's like the best way to make money. <clears throat> and to have your good buddy. Code Primate. Um, who is that? Who asked? Epic Willpower. What is a good way? Epic Willpower, you have 9,000. Send money to Epic Willpower. One million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Transfer to Epic Willpower 91 is successful. Congratulations, Epic. Who just made a million dollars. Uh, my friend gave me Max for lots of money. Wow. I don't know how much Max land is. Like, I, I used to know. Back when it like took me a long time to build up all the money to buy max land. Okay, what am I doing? I, I'm climbing up this thing again with no actual purpose because the spook tree is right there. Dude, he's gonna hang onto that thing the whole time. He's like, it's mine, stay away. It's my precious. <laughs> what is it, precious? What is it? It's a spook tree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lulz in the chat. Oh no. Okay, try again. It's all done. Just get up there, please. <clears throat> what I really need is like a conveyor to catch that thing. Oh. <gasps> That's an idea. Why don't I put a conveyor up there to catch that thing? It is ice wood, so I don't know if that would work as well as I think it would. I could just put a conveyor up there, like, at the bottom. Or it goes up. Maybe. Okay. Hold on. Well, I'm not going to be able to do it now. That's in the way. Okay, let's put it right there for the moment. I'll climb up here. And I can grab this. Come here, you. Silly. Boop. There we go. And then if I just move this right down a hair, like that. Which way is that going? Yep, yep, okay. So, now if I take palm wood, and then 
then I do the little angle thingy like that. That didn't work. Okay. Um, okay, stop, 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 stop. Jump! Oh, it's not working. What about a longer one? Maybe a longer one. You need to go get wires? Okay. There we go. Ooh. Somebody just bought some more land. Ooh, <laughs> that was awesome. Hole in one. I don't golf, but if I did, it would be with palm wood. All right, there we go. Choppy chop 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 time. Oh, by the way, I did update my sitting room for um, Halloween. If you guys wanted to go check it out, that's up to you though not really uh, too much in it but it's just a couple little decorations here and there and some spooky music you know just so you can go see it if you want environmental changes so it looks spooky it's not I promise there's no jump scares in there yet <laughs> sat down during lunchtime and I was like I'm gonna go make something let's just build real quick Sure enough, got it done, and by the time lunch was over, I hit publish, and it went public. It was amazing. Why do I have a million? Holy heck! <laughs> Gee dang it. <laughs> he just realized that he got money. <laughs> Hacker. <laughs> No, I swear. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> Please don't ban me. Who's a hacker? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. You're going to be watching this tomorrow and be like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that should be like, ban. Hold on. Slash, slash, slash me is now admin. <laughs> bye bye, Epic. <laughs> no! I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Subtract my money, please! No. I gave it to you. <laughs> Poor guy. He's like, what? What happened? No, I'm not a hacker! I swear, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a hacker! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys scared me to have to, half to death. <laughs> now that's okay when I think about literal sayings and stuff like that everybody's heard half to death right you scared him half to death he was he was beat half to death right <clears throat> now here's a contemplation if it was half to death the only way to be absolutely sure is to do the exact same thing scaring them in the exact same way and then on the last moment of that thing that happened, they die. <laughs> that would be... Then you could say, yeah, you scared them half to death. And then when the police show up and they're like, why is this man dead? And they'd be like, well, we scared, scared him to death. <laughs> well, how? Well, we only scared him half to death, but we weren't sure. So we had to test the other half 
to make I'm sorry. That just that's an ADHD thought that just goes crazy. <laughs> oh, why why did you give it uh code, I gave you cheated box. Thank you. Uh a I cheated for this box is actually an in times axe box. <clears throat> Which by the way, I I said that earlier. I said it in an earlier video saying you can only get the end times axe by doing this. That's not entirely true. There is a box that got hacked into the game like a long time ago. Uh, I would say six, seven, eight months ago, something like that. And it's called the I Cheated for This Box. Um, just so you know, you cannot be banned for that box. All right, I've already spoken to Defaultio. He says, if you have that box and it's on your base, you're not going to get banned, okay? <laughs> A lot of people were freaking out about that. Like, no, I don't want to lose my base. You're fine. You are absolutely fine. And you are allowed to have it. Um, now, if you happen to have a skull on your base, contact me. I want to do a video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you have a skull or a golden axe, those are forbidden items. Like, you're, you're not supposed to be able to have those inside the game. Um, but like I said, if you do have one, I would like to see it. I won't touch it. All right. I will not be associated with it. But if you're comfortable with being on camera and you've got one of the skulls from the uh, the original leak, that would be amazing. Oh, come on. There we go. Build, build, build. Build, build, build. Every day building. Oh, gosh. We're just about out of time for today on today's painting with Bob Ross. The joy of painting. Maybe he has a little little friend right over there named Clyde. <laughs> Alright, let's go let's go see if these are uppity up. Oop. I may have missed that one. Woo! <laughs> woo woo! Mm. By the way, this is quite a long distance so far. Uh, I don't know if it makes it over the water yet, but uh, if I put my mist down there, it definitely goes out into the water. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see what you were talking about. Like, this one is slightly off to the right, so you could essentially build over there. A palm bridge, a drivable palm bridge. Oh man, it takes forever. All right, hold on. E move up here, up here, up here, here, here. There it goes. Move. Oh. Did he fall down? He fell down! Oh no! Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> Don't worry. I do it too. Uh oh. Did that one not place? Oh well. We're just gonna have a double bridge. Or a dub double ladder somewhere. Oh, it did, it did place. Okay. There's that. Almost done. Last one, and we'll go. We'll go outro next to the spook tree, because that's an amazing thing to do. Yeah, we got just enough time. There we go. Real quick, take a look. It was. It was right there the entire time. I was up here looking like this, like an idiot, and I didn't even look down. I'm like, it was right there, guys, right there, and I completely missed it. How? Outro time. Uh, let's go stand next. Oop, stuck. There we go. Uh, on our way. Um, at the zombie or not the zombie tree. <laughs> zombie was speaking at the um spook tree. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. There you go. I'm not. I'm not gonna hit it. I just want to outro with you. There you go. <clears throat> Amazing spook tree. 
of awesomeness. <laughs> GG on the find. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, joined by amazing fans, you guys, because that's what I like to do. I like coming into public servers, playing with you guys, hanging out, and doing signatures afterwards. I mean, I really do enjoy it. Um, a lot of people ask me, can, can I get your signature? Can I get your signature? Yes, after the video, make sure you follow me in. If you're asking me in my comments on a video, I don't follow people in just to go sign bases. I don't, I don't have that kind of time. I wish I had that kind of time but I really don't. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the very end of the video. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and happy Halloween tomorrow, I guess. No, maybe. This comes out on Tuesday, so Wednesday, yep. Happy Halloween. Or Hallows Eve. Something. Whatever it is. <laughs> Love you guys. Outro. Thank you.